In this video, we're going to take a look at how to edit a bitmap. So first things first, let's bring in a bitmap. So let's go to our edit bitmap tool up here and let's import this picture of the couple. I'm just going to size this down just a little bit and hold shift while I use the transform handle to bring this in. And now we're going to look at editing our bitmap using the picture editor. So let's edit our bitmap. Now our bitmap is selected and you've got these options here to edit it with. So you have contrast at the top. This is a slider that adjusts the contrast. The higher contrast emphasizes the difference between light and dark parts of the image. So you can see as we slide it down to the left, where some of the darker parts are highlighted and the lighter parts on the right here. And we can bring that slider back to the middle or you can double click to bring that back in. Then we have the brightness field. So the brightness slider has the ability to adjust the brightness of the image. So if we go to the right, the brighter it gets, go to the left, the darker it gets. And let's bring that back to the middle. Then we have the gamma. Now the gamma slider adjusts the correction or the gamma correction applied to the image. This can make an image look lighter or darker whilst maintaining detail. So let's have a look at what happens if we slide it to the left. You can see it gets darker. And if you slide it to the right, it gets lighter while still maintaining a lot of that detail. And again, we can bring the slider back to the middle or we can double click where we want it. Then we have the option to invert. Now the invert option allows you to invert the colors in the image. So effectively the whites become black and the blacks become white. So if we have our bitmap selected and we check this option, you can see how this inverts our bitmap. Then we have grayscale. So this can make the image black and white. And depending on what you are using your bitmap for, this may be more helpful because if you've got a sign to make or if a lot of your image has black and white areas or you can simplify the colors to black and white, this may help with vector creation if you were to use the uh, trace bitmap tool later on to create some vectors from your bitmap. And then finally, we have the option to add a border. And now you can see we have a rectangular border as well as an oval border and we can fade the edge of that border using this slider here. So if I fade it to the right here, you can see that on the slider it goes further in with the fading and further out to the left. Same with the oval border. And this can be quite useful for strategies such as photo V carving. If you were to make a photo V carving of your bitmap in software such as photo V carve or V carve pro. And that brings us to the end of the edit bitmap tutorial and of course if you want to apply any changes all you have to do when you're happy with all your settings is click apply hope to see you in the next video